So, what's so special about spray glue? Well, did you know that it can cover much larger areas than its bead counterpart? It reduces thermal damage to substrates too. It's more accurate than aerosols and gives faster instant grab than solvent-based adhesives. Did we also mention that it contains no solvent? So, it's completely non-hazardous. Best of all, you only pay for the adhesive that you use as there is no solvent to evaporate. There are no waste cans to dispose of and the spray isn't airborne so there's no need for protective masks or overalls, and you won't be left cleaning up excess glue from your work environment. To apply spray adhesive, you'll need a specialised spray glue gun, like the ones we have here. The 500 Watt Tech 6300 is extremely robust with an output of over 4 kilograms an hour. The 1000 Watt Tech 7300 glue gun has an output of over 5 kilograms an hour, and also features a speed loader, which holds three extra slugs of adhesive to speed up loading and reduce downtime. Both of these glue guns are pneumatic and very easy to use. Plus, they can be used at any angle without the risk of glue meltback. Quick and simple to set up, just insert a glue cartridge into the gun before switching it on. Then, connect to a compressed air supply. The gun is fitted with a small screw at the back that controls the spray pattern. We recommend turning this fully clockwise to turn the spray air off when starting the gun as this maximises the piston pressure. This, in turn, helps the adhesive to start flowing more quickly. Once the tool has started up, the adhesive flow can be adjusted with the air pressure to the tool. Best control is achieved with a pressure of between 4 and 6 bar. We usually start at 5 bar. After this, the spray air can be increased by turning the small control knob at the rear of the tool anti-clockwise. As the spray air is increased, the spray pattern gradually gets wider until it starts to change from a spiral pattern to more of a splatter. The best bonds and control are achieved with the spiral spray pattern as the adhesive is hotter and remains tacky for longer. A splatter pattern usually means the spray air control is up too high. Additional spray nozzles are available for both fine and wide spray patterns. This means that you need to consider both the nozzle orifice for the glue flow and the nozzle angle for the spray pattern width when changing the nozzle. The spray tech system is used for many applications, including the assembly of expanded polystyrene in packaging and theatre sets, bonding bubble film to cardboard, foam assembly in upholstery, crush helmet and body armour, and it is also used to customise precast concrete moulds with different structural and architectural features. Various spray tech formulations are available with different adhesion properties, working time and colour. Spray tech 410 has a short working time and is low tack, making it ideal for pallet stabilisation. The 420 has a longer open time and great adhesion. White in colour, it's invisible on expanded polystyrene. The 425 is higher output to cover larger areas, has great adhesion and is brown in colour so it's very easy to see on expanded polystyrene. Spraytech 430 has the highest adhesive performance and longest working time, but has a lower output than the 420 and the 425 formulations. Both spray guns can also be supplied as extension models that can be connected to cord sets of either 6 meters or 12 meters, perfect for some extra mobility when you need to take the gun to the job in hand. Accessories are available to make using the spray guns even easier, including a spring balancer support tool, a combined pressure regulator, filter and water separator, and an optional metal gun stand. Non-toxic, simple and clean to use, the Spraytech system is more efficient than solvent or water-based adhesives.